everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Floris Becker. Today we're going to look into a solo that I wrote over one of Quist's most recent blues backing tracks. It's a funky blues in the key of C. Be sure to check out his channel. He puts out some awesome guitar content, including backing tracks you can jam over and great guitar lessons. For this backing track, he invited the incredibly talented guitar player Ross Campbell to play the intro solo. At first I thought I'd do a tutorial on Ross Campbell's solo, but then I figured it would be nice to write my own solo to show you what you can do learning someone else's licks and making them your own. The tabs for this solo can be found via the link in the description below. So let's start with the first lick. So the first lick is played in the C minor pentatonic scale, which is in the first position over here. And I'm playing the box here. So I'm starting on the minor third. Like so. And then I'm playing a legato lick, playing the major third. So that's the first lick and it starts here, three, four, then the second lick I'm playing the C major pentatonic scale and this is a lick also inspired by Ross Campbell's solo. So I'm gonna start on the G note and then I'm playing towards the major third again. And then I'm playing a legato lick within the major pentatonic scale. Like so. So I'm starting on the minor third again with my pinky. And then I'm sliding from the minor third to the major third, back to the minor third. Playing a legato lick like this. And then I'm shifting to the minor pentatonic scale. So the lick sounds like this. So the last two notes are already positioned within the C minor pentatonic scale. Then I'm sliding towards this note. Then back to the fifth position of the minor pentatonic scale. Then, just like Ross Campbell, I'm playing an arpeggio here, which is the C dominant seventh arpeggio. So the whole lick sounds like this. The next lick I'm gonna play in the C minor pentatonic scale. But I'm playing a Dorian note here, which is the note A. C Dorian scale. And then with this legato lick, I'm playing towards the major third again. Then continuing the lick within the C minor pentatonic scale. But then shifting towards the C major pentatonic scale again. So it's a mix of three things. It's the Dorian scale, the C minor pentatonic scale, and the C major pentatonic scale, like this. Then the backing track will go to the F7 chord, which is the fourth scale degree. And when you're playing the fourth scale degree, the Dorian, the C Dorian scale sounds really awesome because the C Dorian scale has a Dorian note, which is the A note in this case. And the A note, when you look at the F7 dominant chord, which is F a, C, E flat, the A note within that chord is the major third again. 
So the major third is a really strong note within that chord. So the A note is a note you want to play when playing over, in this case, the F7 chord. So I'm starting on that note, then bending it a half step, legato lick, then I'm going to slide towards that note again via half a step. Like that. And then I'm going to go to the second position of the minor pentatonic scale in this position here. Okay, so again, a bend, half a step. Legato lick, slide to the Dorian note again. Then the second position of the minor pentatonic, and then... And the cool thing to do is when you're playing the second position of the minor pentatonic scale, is when you go two steps forward to this note, and then when you bend it a whole note, it sounds extra bluesy. Let me play the whole lick one more time. So in the next lick, I'm going to play the C major pentatonic scale again. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting in the G position. And then I'm sliding into the E position. When you look at caged, you can call this the G position. And this is the E position. Which is the E position. And here, the G. So I'm starting in that position. Then sliding into the E position. Then, when you listen to the backing track, the solo shifts towards the fifth scale degree, which is the G seventh chord. So what I'm playing there is a G seven arpeggio. And inspired by Ross Campbell's solo, now I'm shifting to the bridge pickup, which gives it a lot of twang. So... Then I'm going to play a lick starting on the Dorian note again, twice. And then I'll end that lick with the minor pentatonic scale. So Dorian, minor. Then with the final lick I'm going to go back towards the beginning of the neck in this position. There I'm also playing the minor third and then the major third. Which is the same lick we did before, but now in this position. Then... Slide. Slide back. Legato. Waiting for the one by playing the flat seven. Finally playing the root note at the end. Three. Okay, so let's finish this lesson by playing each lick one more time slowly. Lick one. Lick two. Next lick. And the 
next one. Next one. Now we're going to shift to the bridge pickup. Next lick. And the final lick. Thank you for watching. Let me know via the comment section if I did Ross Campbell solo justice. If you have any requests regarding topics for my next video, could be a lick, could be a song, could be a solo, let me know via the comment section and then maybe it will be a feature in one of my next videos. I really appreciate your support, so subscribe to my channel and also like this video so it will be easier to find this video on YouTube for other users as well. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you next time. Bye.